hey you guys welcome or welcome back to journeys with jay in today's video i recreated this nail design that i found on pinterest i thought that these were so fun and i haven't done anything like this in a long time so if you guys want to see how i achieved this look then please continue to watch in today's video i will be reviewing a brand that i found on amazon i've seen it quite a few times and this was the kit that i found i'm not quite sure how to pronounce the name but this is going to be a gel nail kit on this side of it it's just showing manufacturer information as well as the shelf life and on this other side it's showing what all is included inside of the package so we have coffin nail tips a portable nail lamp nail glue as well as a file these are just the instructions and user manual on the kit this is the package of the pre-buffed nail tips i honestly like pre-buffed nail tips so i thought that was pretty cool It also comes with a portable nail lamp, which I will be opening up a little later on. And this is what really drew me to the kit because I see all of the things included that you need to start. And then this is the nail glue for the nail tips that they've provided. And it's also soak off. And then we just have this little small nail file, which is like super cute. But I don't know if I would be using that today because I just prefer my bigger nail files. So this is what the nail lamp looks like. It's pretty cute, I like it. Um, I feel like this would be really convenient if you don't have tons of space and you just want something small that you can pack up. It's also really good for travel. It has these two little kickstands that you can just pop out and the start button is right on the top. It also comes with the USB. Um, I think it's like a USB-C charger cord for it. It has to be plugged up at all times. It's not rechargeable and it does not come with a block. So that's kind of blah. But if you have an extra block laying around, then you can just plug it in. And here I'm just showing the inside of the nail tip case because I'm about to size out all of my nails, making sure that they fit from side wall to side wall, not too tight so that they don't pop off and not too big so that it doesn't cause lifting. I'm also doing this set on top of a peel off base coat today you know as you guys know I do film a lot of nail content so I just try to make it a bit e easier on myself by you know not ruining the nails and that way I can go back and wear them later as press-ons. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Model 1's Nail Prep Dehydrator, and I will be using that to just rough up the very inside of the nails at the base. You guys will see me do this quite a few times, you know how it goes, we're just going to be repeating the steps for each and every nail.
and then we'll be going in with the nail glue or the nail tips that they provide inside of the kit with the lamp as well I'm going to paint a thin layer of the nail glue inside of the nail and scrape off any product left over on the brush at the very base. Now I'm not going to lie, I applied this thumb and went in with this lamp because I'm so used to my lamp that stands up and I had a bubble. So I took it off and you guys are going to see that I've applied this thumb and then it goes missing before I apply my pointer finger. So that's why I had to remove it apply another peel off base coat and do it again because the bubble was just so bad and you can see the glue trying to seep out the side like it was just not ideal the position of this light so I just kind of uh, rigged it up so <laughs> you guys are gonna see that in this next clip here and yeah it's on top of a box I have my little rhinestone picker um, holding the lamp in place and as you can see the thumbnail is gone it will be put back on before we start with our design but um, you'll see me doing my same usual steps here um, I honestly just prefer something that's a bit higher like a gooseneck lamp or my lamp that I'm always using that stands up the ones that sit a bit lower are just not ideal but I will say that this is a pretty strong lamp so if you're okay with your lamp being on the desk or you know you needing to kind of prop it up like me then I don't see any problem with it at all it just could be a little bit higher and again you will see me repeating those steps for all of the other nails now something that I really wanted to mention here was the price point of this nail kit this nail kit is currently on Amazon for six dollars and ninety nine cent on sale I was like oh I couldn't pass it up I have to try it out like my people want to see affordable nail kits they want to see what they can get and is it good quality is this any good you guys know I'm gonna tell you the truth now with that being said I believe that it's actually a little bit cheaper currently and so instead of the $6.99 I think it's six dollars and 29 cents so hop on that deal if you can and if you want to give this kit a try After applying the nail tips, of course, I give it a cure in the big lamp for 60 seconds. And then I'm just going to take my nail file. I believe this is like a 180 over 240. And I'm just going to really clean up the shape of the nail. So like any of those little extra pieces of nail that we have at the very tip, we want to clean that up as well as the side walls.
After I'm done just sharpening up the shape with the nails, I will be going in with my sponge nail file and really buffing the surface of the nail. Again, because these are pre-buffed, we don't really have to do too much. So I really like that. I buff the top as well as underneath the nail just to make sure I don't have any sharp edges. Now we're going to start with our nail design. As you can see, my thumb is done. I like to try out the design first on my thumb because it's a bigger surface, just to make sure it's going to turn out exactly how I want. And I'm taking this ox blood red, and I will be applying two coats of this. I'm only showing me applying one, but we're gonna do two because we want it to be a little bit more opaque. So the first coat, I'm gonna apply, cure it for 60 seconds, and then we're going to apply one more coat of this and cure it for another 60 seconds before we go in with the next part of the design. Now that the ox blood color is down, we're going to go in with a brighter red. This is also out of the different gel polish kit. Again, if you guys don't have to use the exact same products that I'm using, but I will have them linked below. Um, but of course, if you have something similar in your kit, go for it. Um, but I'm just kind of messily putting a blob of that product down the center of the nail. And what we will be doing is just kind of more so making an elongated oval shape along the nail. You guys, you see the inspo, you know, you get it. You know what, where I'm going with this. Here I'm just taking a really small detail brush to create that oval effect so that really helps me to drag that polish out and create the shape that I'm looking to create. And just take your time, do small strokes. I prefer for the bristles to be a bit shorter so that's why I'm using this length of a brush. If you use anything too long you may not have the control that you want to have so I recommend doing it with like a much smaller brush. And of course, I'm going to be repeating the same step on all of the nails. You'll see it going from wonky to the shape that we're looking to achieve.
Also, sorry that my lighting is like changing. Whenever you make any bit of an adjustment against a white or black background, it it definitely just kind of messes with your lighting a little bit, but um, I think you guys will still be able to kind of get the gist. It's also going to happen to me when I apply the chrome gel polish, that stuff it's reflecting the light so it's like super hard to see also like in real time so you'll see me kind of moving around my hands and adjusting them quite a bit to make sure that I'm completely filling in that design now for our metal gel paint this is what we're going to be going in with to put in that chrome detail. So this portion of the clip was really out of focus. Like, and this is what I mean by the chrome paints. Like, I was trying so hard to pay attention to what I was doing that I didn't even notice that the clip was out of focus. But in the next part of the clip, after this one line this is just like my baseline that I'm going to be building my design off of once I'm done with that you guys are gonna see a lot better oh and then you see my thumb it looks so cute um, but here I am going to start to create like some not necessarily circles um, just like curved lines we're just making more of like some Cool, like patterns I wouldn't say it's like um honeycomb or anything like that but you guys are gonna see I had my inspiration photo ready and I was just kind of going based off of that you can do this any way you want to I just chose to use this pattern I was honestly just like really eyeballing it at this point and um, just kind of going with the flow whatever made sense for me I just did it and with this kind of design I feel like you have the free range to do that so this was really a nice and fun nail set to do and I think I want to do this nail set again like make the other hand just so that I can wear them because they're actually so cute like I really really like this look it gives me like spawn vibes And again with this finger my initial line is um, out of focus so again I do apologize and for the middle finger design I just basically mirrored what I did for the pointer finger and you guys will see that as well but again don't overthink the lines don't overthink this design this is like a lazy method to create something really nice that I'll have people asking oh my god your nails are beautiful who did them and you're like me it took me no time at all knowing that it probably took us a couple of hours but that is okay because guess what we saved money and we did it ourselves so that's what these videos are for you guys I hope that you guys really enjoy you know the designs and everything and you know let me know if there's something you guys want to see me try 
um, as far as the design go, uh, design goes, or different nail kits. Like I'm down to try all of them. I'm always excited to try something new. So send me your recommendations, please. You can send them on here or on my um, my nail Instagram, and I'll have that linked as well. Now for the ring finger design, I am doing some half moon shapes and I kind of have them staggered a little bit so you'll see what I mean in just a second. So I'm creating the outline for the shape and then I'm going to go in and start to fill it in because with this one I felt like I wanted, I wanted the chrome to be a bit thicker. And I was like, you know what, let's just fill it in. Why not? Let's go for it. And so that's what I did. And I think that it turned out really well. Next, I'm going in with my favorite McCart rhinestone glue. This stuff is amazing. It's literally my favorite. I, I don't think I would use another brand unless it was just sent to me. I don't know. This stuff is so good. So I'm going to just apply a small little, little dollop right on top of the nail. We have the little cross. I got these on Amazon, you know, when that chrome heart face was going crazy. So I'm like, oh yeah, this is perfect. I already have this. Let's go for it. And I placed it on the nail, started to maneuver it around. And like, I think I eventually slid it up just a little bit more. But yeah, I think I really, really love how these turned out. Like, they look so good. And I'm also going in with my Model 1's top coat. I'm going to apply a generous top coat on top of these nails. And I love that that didn't change the appearance of the chrome polish as well, or the metal painting gel. I keep saying chrome polish, but I mean, that's essentially what it is. Um, for the areas that I have the crosses, I'm just sealing it on the very edge, but I'm not going over top of it.
and once I'm done applying the top coat I will go ahead and cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds in the big lamp and come back and show you guys the final product Okay, you guys, this is going to be our final look. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see next, as well as what you thought about this video. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.